everybody and welcome back. Right, I don't know if Vox was aware of this, and it's going to be a Vox video, unfortunately, but this was done a day ago, right? Well, a day ago from the point of recording this, right? Now, Vox is going on about Trump's mental health. Now, I'm pretty sure that matter has been dealt with, but these fucking retarded morons at Vox seem to forget that this has all been taken care of. So, what we're going to do is we're going to address some things in this Vox video. As always, the links to the original video are in the description, along with all the other links of anything that I show here. So, let's dive in, shall we? Is Trump mentally unfit to be president? That is an awkward question, but it's one that's being asked on every major news network in America. President Trump's fitness for office is now the top story in the country. Reports suggest that even Trump's advisors are worried about it. Everyone around the president questions his intelligence and fitness for office. 100% of the people. Oh, fucking really? Do you honestly think I'm gonna take advice from you, ya weirdo? Right? You see, everyone is talking about it. No, they're fucking not. Only the lunatics of the left, like you. Look, look at this guy. What a fucking glorious idiot. <coughs> now, ain't that a face you just like to fucking... No, oh, right, nope, can't do that. No violence. Anyway, right, so... Is Trump mentally deranged? And apparently everyone run about him feels the same way. Well, I highly fucking doubt that, Vox. But let's, anyway, let's continue on and hearing what you have to say about all this. Because myself, other rational thinkers like myself, and, um, well, basically anybody who exists outside your fucking echo chamber, Vox, knows that you talk absolute bullshit and you are not a res reliable source for fucking anything. Ever. No, never, ever. They're fucking useless. Anywho, let's continue. Concerns have gotten so bad that Trump agreed to be screened for dementia as part of his last health exam. None of this has to do with Trump's political positions. They have to do with his ability to understand the world around him and make good decisions. Everybody wants to know, is this president of sound mind? And if talking about this kind of thing makes you uncomfortable, wait till you see how much it's stressing out actual mental health experts. Oh, really? Right, well, listen, I hate to think the kind of experts that you're going to drag out, the pseudoscience fuckers, you know, feminist fucking professors and gender studies fucking all these nonsense, people who just have absolutely no clue about how the real world works and their scientific qualifications they found in a cereal box. I bet you. Let's see exactly what kind of professionals you have, Vox, eh? Show us, big dudes. Let's go. In a series of tweets, the president insisted that he is, like, really smart and a very stable genius. Last October, a group of 27 mental health experts published this book, The Dangerous Case of Donald Trump. In it, they warned that Trump's behavior shows him to be dangerously unstable, describing him as a pathological narcissist who is delusional, suffers from paranoid ideation, lacks conscience and empathy, and exhibits a host of destructive and dangerous psychiatric symptoms. Yeah, it's rough. Well, um, no. That book is a pile of shit. And the editor of that book, yes, she has a degree and a doctor and all that stuff. Nobody cares because I'm, far as I'm concerned, if she thinks that Trump's mentally deranged, she shouldn't have a job. Because I've got some proof for you coming up. Oh, yes, I have. I have some beautiful, wonderful truth for all those fucking idiots out there, the truth that Trump is complete of sound mind and body for a guy nearly in his fucking 70s. You all need to fucking get this fucking thing that you've got here and actually use it, because apparently you've got the qualifications, but you don't have any common fucking sense. But anyway, let's see what else you fucking morons have to say. Two months after its publishing, the book's editor met with 12 U.S. senators to talk about Trump's mental fitness. That editor's name? It's Dr. Bandy Lee. I am a forensic psychiatrist at Yale School of Medicine and an internationally recognized expert on violence. Since the book came out, Dr. Lee has become kind of the face of mental health experts warning about Trump. We hey, retard. Yeah, you. Yeah, retard. 
Well, let's just start with her name, Bandy. Right now, and where I'm from, Scotland, the term Bandy means nuts. Uh, mental. Ref fucking tarded. Well, for example, I'll give you a quote, I'll give you an example. Oh, see that guy, by the way? He's fucking gone Bandy, he's gone nuts, man. Right, so, with a name like Bandy, and the simple fact is you're actually pushing the fact that Donald Trump Still, even though after the White House, the White House doctor who served not just with fucking Trump, but Obama as well. He's been there for fucking years, so it's not like he's Trump's guy, has come out and said he's perfectly of sound mind and body. In fact, I tell you what I'll do, just to prove it, I'm going to play it. In summary, the president's overall health is excellent. His cardiac performance during his physical exam was very good. He continues to enjoy the significant long-term cardiac and overall health benefits that come from a lifetime of abstinence from tobacco and alcohol. We discussed diet, exercise, and weight loss. He would benefit from a diet that is lower in fat and carbohydrates and from a routine exercise regimen. He has a history of elevated cholesterol and is currently on a low dose of Crestor. In order to further reduce his cholesterol level and further decrease his cardiac risk, we will increase the dose of this particular medication. The President is currently up to date on all recommended preventive medicine and screening tests and exams. All clinical data indicates that the President is currently very healthy and that he will remain so for the duration of his presidency. No, isn't that fucking interesting? The White House doctor says Trump is fine. And I'll actually put the link to that thing in the description. Watch the whole thing. It goes on about his mental health and everything. Just watch the whole thing. CNN getting put in their fucking place along with this hypocritical fucking cunt here at Vox. So let's go back to this fucking half what and see what else this fucking moron has to say. We express our consensus view that Mr. Trump is a danger to national and international security. Some of the psychological signs are impulsivity, recklessness, paranoid reactions, having a loose grip on reality, lacking empathy, having rage reactions. All of these are highly associated with violence. One thing I notice is that she starts almost every interview about Trump by saying this. I'd like to make clear that I speak for myself and not representing the views of Yale University. She did it in our interview too. I would like to make clear that I'm speaking on- That's because what Dr. Lee and her colleagues are doing, discussing the mental health of a politician who isn't their patient, is pretty controversial. And that's why I called the whole thing retarded. She has never met him, never spoke to him. She is giving a prop opinion that is not based on actual reality. Only based on what the sh fucking Oh, CNN, those fucking cock-sucking pieces of shit at CNN. They are the ones that are making this all out more than it's supposed to be. And we've seen already that Trump is physically fine. Well, since we know that everything that comes out of Vox is generally bullshit, what we'll do is I'm going to wrap this up now, okay? Trump isn't mental. The video link's in the description to prove it from the White House. If you want to watch the rest of this Vox nonsense, links in the description also. I don't believe anything that comes out of Vox. I don't believe anything that comes out of CNN. I don't believe anything that comes out of the liberal media at all. Or the mainstream media, sorry, I will rephrase. The leftist media. The mainstream, lamestream, fake news peddling ball sacks that are the media. But anyway, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Leave me your comments, leave me your thoughts. Oh, I don't really have much else to say, except for, my name is Alexander, I'll catch you in the next one.